One mistake that people make is they reinforce their dog for silly, pushy behaviors while they're putting on a leash. You don't want to get your dog super excited for a walk because then you're just reinforcing the exact behaviors that you would get upset with your dog if they were doing during meal times or when guests come over. So before you get your leash, make sure your dog is sitting calmly. So I'm just going to reinforce Georgia as I go get my leash. And if she continues sitting, she gets the leash put on. If she jumps and bounces around, the leash goes away. Yes. And now we're ready to go out for our walk because she's being nice and calm. One really good habit to get in is teaching your dog to wait at the door, wait for their food, wait for toys. This encourages calm behavior. This encourages them not to jump on people coming in. This encourages them not to bark. So what I'm going to do with um, Betty is just open the door, tell her to wait, and she's not allowed to walk through until I do. The nice thing about this is I actually use the walk as the reward versus food. Wait. Yes. Yes! Let's go! Yes! Sit. Yes. Wait. Now, uh -uh. Wait. Yes. Let's go! This is a great life-saving skill, too. You want your dog to see an open door and not think that they can bolt through it. Wait. Yes, let's go. Yes. Sit. Yes, wait. Yes, let's go. The other nice thing about an exercise like this is if just doing a couple repetition wears your dog's brain out so they're less likely to jump and be obnoxious to get your attention or do demand barking. So always remember that physical exercise is great but mental exercise is just as important. Before we can expect our dog to not jump on guests when they come in, we have to teach them to sit by the door and we have to do that without distractions. So George is sitting very nicely here. I'm just going to reinforce her. Yes. And then I'm just going to walk away so she follows me and we're going to try that again so that she sits on command. Georgia, get her in my space. Sit. Yes. Yes. And I'm going to continue to reinforce her as long as she's sitting nicely. Okay, you're free. So we're training her to sit calmly by the door. Georgia, sit. Yes. Yes. So now that she seems to have the hang of it, we're going to add a little bit of uh, real life distraction. So I'm just going to knock on the door, yes, and reinforce her if she continues sitting. Yes. Put my treats behind my back so she's not so focused on me because I have food. Yes. Georgia, you're free. And then nothing spectacular happens when she gets up. So we're going to try that again. Georgia, sit. Yes. Reinforce her. Now my sit hand signal is going to be this. Yes. Now that she's got the knock, we'll try that one more time. Just because your dog responds once or twice doesn't mean they understand the meaning of a command. Yes. So now we're going to open and shut the door. Yes. And we're not working on a formal obedience stay here. We're just learning, teaching her to sit calmly by the door. Yes. Try that again. Yes. Now, for safety reasons, it's important to know that if you live on a busy street, you want to be very careful about doing this exercise. And I would probably recommend putting your dog on a leash for this. Outside of the store, there's nothing that could, that could hurt Georgia should she decide to run out. Yes. And we're going to release her. You're free. And again, all the treats and all the good things happen when George is doing her sit. Sit. Yes. Now I'm going to take a step out. Yes. And I'm going to shut the door. Nuh uh. Sit. Yes. Take a step out. Yes. Uh, she's not going to get a treat for that. Yes. Uh-uh. 
Yes. You're free. Requiring a wait for toys is another way to remind your dog you are the giver of good things, and those good things come for calm, sweet behavior. We all want our dogs to be well behaved while we're eating meals, but often we don't think about it until we're actually sitting down for dinner with our family. With just a little bit of planning, you can train your dog to be very good and quiet and lay nicely on their bed while you're eating. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with Georgia and just teach her to lay down on her bed on command. So I'm going to use my hand to guide her on her bed. Georgia, bed. Yes. And when she lays down, I'm going to say yes and reward her. Yes. This is an automatic stay, so as long as she stays on her bed, I'm going to continue to reinforce her. Yes. Take a step away. Yes. I'm going to step over here. Yes, and she made a beautiful choice there by not getting off of her bed. Yes. And I'm walking further away, but she did very nicely and stayed ni very well on her bed. Yes. So now we're going to practice with Georgia laying on her bed while I eat a little snack. Now this is brand new to her, so you, may, I, you will see that I will get up a few times just to make sure I really reinforce her laying on her bed. So I'm going to reinforce her for laying nicely on her bed. What helps is if you treat from one hand and eat with the other, so that way you're not eating with the same hand that you're trying to reinforce your dog. Yes. I'm going to take one little bite. Yes. I'm going to stand up and correct her, or reinforce her, because that's what I want her to do. Yes, this looks like a lot of work, but I promise that it moves very quickly, and it's very, it will pay off for years to come. You're being a very good girl. She's very relaxed. I'm not going to get up and reinforce her right now. I'm going to give her verbal praise. Good girl. You're being a very good girl. If she were to get up, I would stand up and replace her back on her bed. I want to make sure that she knows that laying on her bed is what earns her time during meal times. Very good girl. Now, when I'm done with my snack, I want to make sure that I clear it off so that way I don't undo all my training by letting her jump on the table and eat it. One thing we need to keep in mind when we're interacting with our dogs is that we are training them all day long, whether we realize it or not. One really nice way to reinforce your bed cue is to require your dog to lay on their bed before they get toys and before they get their meals. So I'm just going to give Georgia her bed command. Georgia, bed. Yes. And then her reward for this is a toy. And as long as she's being good and calm, she gets her toy. Yes. I just gave her one more opportunity during the day to practice going to her bed on command. If you don't want your dog to jump on guests, you should not allow them to jump on you. Now we're going to teach Betty to sit at the door. What's really important is instructing your guests to not give your dog attention if they're being bouncy. What's even more important than that is being ready to teach your dog to sit when guests come in the house. So I've instructed Edgar to just walk in the house. I've instructed him not to give her a lot of attention and I'm ready here with some treats to prevent barking. So I'm gonna have Edgar knock now. Give me just one second. So Edgar is new and exciting. So I'm gonna go ahead and reinforce Betty for not jumping, not barking, not getting too bouncy. Hey, how are you? How's it going? Good. You can come on in. Give me just one second. I want to treat her to prevent her from jumping. Right. Okay, you can go ahead and have a seat. I'll be in in just a second. Now, she did nicely with that, but dogs need a lot of repetition to understand that sitting at the door means they sit at the door no matter who comes in. So, in order to take those treats out of your hand, I want to repeat the exercise with Edgar to make sure that she understands sit means sit, even when I don't have a pocket full of treats on me. 
So now we're going to just make sure that Betty understands the sit again when Edgar comes in, really focusing on not using so many food rewards. So Edgar's going to knock now. Yes. One treat for her. Hey, Edgar, how are you? Good. Come on in. Good girl, Betty. You're doing awesome. You know what? You can go ahead and have a seat. Thank you. I just want to give her a little verbal praise for not following you. Yes, you're such a good girl. And that time I only used one treat. Okay, you're free. Now that George has had some practice sitting and waiting at the door, we're going to require her to sit and wait the entire time Edgar comes in and has a seat. Hey, how are you? Come on in. Wait. Great to see you. Why don't you have a seat on the couch? Yes. Okay, you can greet. Hey, Georgia. How's it going, Georgia? Hey. Sit. If you've been practicing your bed command during setup training sessions, reinforcing it with real life rewards like toys and working on it at snack time, you are ready to practice with a real meal. Be ready to get up and replace your dog if he or she gets up. Also be prepared to throw in a nice good girl for calm behavior. If your dog is not as well behaved as Georgia, go back and practice when you are not eating. Some dogs take a little more time to master a lovely bed command during exciting meal times. Consistency is key. If your dog gets up just once and you don't replace her, you undo some of your hard work. Don't forget to tell guests not to feed your dog because that too will sabotage your training. If you have a dog that jumps on counters and you're constantly running around screaming off to them, what the first rule of thumb is put the food away. It may be an inconvenience in the short term, but if your dog jumps on the counter just once, and eats a whole pan of brownies, not only are they getting reinforced for jumping, but they could also end up in the vet clinic. So one way to train this is you teach your dog, yes, to go lay on their bed or to remain out of the kitchen every time there's food around. So I'm going to show Alice that I have food, and now I'm going to go have her go lay in her bed. Go to your bed. This is a new exercise for her. So we're going to reinforce her for taking every little step towards the bed. Yes. And I'm going to bend down to get out of her space a little bit. Yes. Yes. Go a little further. It would be really easy at this particular point to just push her or to just keep saying go to your bed, but we want her to learn that the word go to your bed means I go lay on my bed and I only have to hear it once. Yes. And similar to our meal exercise, we're going to reinforce her if I'm moving the food around. Yes, Alice. Yes. Yes. And like with any training exercise, with repetition comes the, the ability to reduce the, the amount of treats that you use. So it's important to do this in setup situations because I personally wouldn't want to make my own food and have dog, dog treats in my hand while I'm doing it. So doing this just a couple times a day teaches your dog whenever they see food on the counter that they go lay on their bed.